started. Yes. So Toddy mentioned in the intro of the show that he had an a interesting Twitter interaction and, you know, sparked a lot of interest uh, in Kevin <laughs> Mines, Kevin's mind. So, Toddy, I'm going to swing it to you first. Fact or cap? <clears throat> Brock Purdy is better than Josh Allen. This is a cap. Um, that is coming, like I said, diehard Niners fan. Shout out to my boy Kenny Caraway, who has been on the show before, and you know, uh, co-host of D'Lo and Casey on don't know the name of the channel, ESPN thirteen twenty. There you go. Um, but yeah, he, we were kind of going back and forth, and Kenny was posting all the stats pretty much of this year. Um, I've said in past podcasts before on this show, pretty much on how it's kind of been a down year. There's been a bunch of quarterback injuries. Yeah, guys like Sean Watson now, um, Lamar Jackson's kind of had a down year. Um, the, like Dak Prescott was like the leading MVP candidate at a point in time until, you know, they played against the Buffalo Bills and got shellacked. Um, hmm. Brock Purdy was leading the, he was the leader in the clubhouse for, I'd say for a solid, like two to three weeks, people were like, yeah, Brock Purdy's probably going to win MVP. I, I was advocate on the show saying that that was going to happen. And pretty much it all kind of came down to Christmas night. Um, what was supposed to be a Christmas miracle was a Christmas nightmare. And the Baltimore Ravens came into Santa Clara and handed the 49ers ass on a silver platter. Um, Lamar Jackson kind of took control of the MVP races and thoughts. And he was my dark horse um, MVP guy to win it um, for the for the year, like at the beginning of the year. And probably should sprinkle some money on that. Um, but for Josh Allen, I'm just – for particularly Josh Allen and Brock Purdy co- comparison, there's not really a comparison, I would say. Um, Josh Allen is one of the top three to four quarterbacks in this league. Um, can throw the ball miles out of the stadium. Um, is very mobile, um, a lot more mobile than given credit for. Um, he had two rushing touchdowns this past weekend. Um, the team usually puts – ask Josh Allen to – pretty much go out and win the game for him. Um, I don't think he really has a system in place that Brock Purdy currently has a place um, with a Kyle Shanahan, who is a schematic genius and is probably one of the better offensive coaches, if not the best offensive play caller in the national football league. So um, I think most 49er fans can concur with me that if they had a chance, if they had a choice to choose and I'm pretty sure Kevin, We'll put this in a poll. Would you, if you would rather have Josh Allen or Brock Purdy for the 49ers, most people would say that Josh Allen and Kyle Shanahan's ancestor would be like what the Chiefs are, but on steroids. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I love Brock Purdy as a quarterback, what he has, what, what he's capable of doing, what he has done for us this whole entire season. I kind of am comparing him to what I'm hoping he would be. And what I said on Twitter um, last night on the little, I wouldn't even call it an argument. It was just kind of a back and forth that me and Kenny had. Um, I think he's our Drew Brees, and he's a little bit more mobile than Drew Brees. And if he's able to put up these numbers that he put up this past um, season and he's able to do that on a consistent basis, then, yeah, why not? I think he's able to – he doesn't have the strongest arm. He's a lot mobile than what he is given credit for. Um, So – for the factor cap purpose, factor cap is Brock Purdy better than Josh Allen. This is a cap. I think Josh Allen is better than Brock Purdy. You're a better man than me, Toddy, because this could have said anybody better than Jalen Hurts, and I'm dying on the sword. So I appreciate the honesty. So, Sean, I'm going to bring it to you next. Factor cap, Brock Purdy is better than Josh Allen. So when I first saw this question, which was basically when we started today's podcast, the initial reaction is cap. Hell no, Brock Purdy's not better than Josh Allen. Like, did did we all watch the same playoff games this past weekend? Like, Brock didn't look great until the last drive. Josh Allen looked pretty solid throughout the entire game against Kansas City. But that was my initial reaction. Fun fact is before I even knew that this was going to be a factor cap question today on the podcast, I was tuned in to the aforementioned show, D-Lo and KC on ESPN 13, 20 hours tuned in this weekend as I was working away for, for Woodland and Aggies Wire. And when I ended up sending to the group chat the clip of Kenny KC giving a shout out to Jayvon because they were just having their discussion and he said, you know, 
Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my guy, Vonnie, Sean and Vaughn. Shout out Vaughn. And he was talking about the, the discussion that he and Javon had on X uh, this past weekend. And what prompted all of this is then Kenny ultimately said, if we're talking Josh Allen versus Brock Purdy, they posed the same exact question on D'Lo and KC. And D'Lo and KC changed my mind. This is a fact. Brock Purdy is better than Josh Allen. And let me tell you why. Stats over politics, episode 77. Let me give you guys some stats over the politics. Because... If you compare Brock Purdy and Josh Allen, each in year two of their careers, Brock Purdy beats Josh Allen in literally every single stat. Here we go. When it comes to passing percentage, Brock Purdy, 69.4. Josh Allen, 58.8. It's just not even close. You go to passing yards, Brock Purdy, 49ers, all-time leading passer for a season. 4,280 yards, Josh Allen in year two, 3,089. You go to the uh, touchdown to interception ratio, Brock Purdy, 31 to 11, Josh Allen, 20 to 9. And finally, let's just look at overall quarterback rating. Brock Purdy in year two, 72.8, Josh Allen in year two, 49.4. Stats over politics. As far as being two years into the NFL, like everyone wants to compare Josh Allen today to Brock Purdy today. When Josh Allen is in his sixth year in the NFL, Brock Purdy is in his second year, really like a year and a half because Brock didn't start the first half of his rookie year. So if we're strictly comparing Brock Purdy and Josh Allen and the stats from each of them in their second year, Brock Purdy is clearly the better quarterback. So this is a fact. Brock Purdy is better than Josh Allen. Josh Allen was dog shit his first two. Years. So, so let me ask you, Sean. Let me let me let me clarify the question. January twenty second. Who was the better quarterback this season? I know you. I know you have to go deep, deep in the archives. But who do you think was the better quarterback this season? Okay, Kevin. I see you moving the goalposts. You asked me a question. <laughs> I mean, you moved the, the question. goalposts first. But you dig back to the second year. This is today. Well, I wanted I wanted to credit D'Lo and KC because they were the I, I basically stole the whole argument from them. Um, if you're asking me right now, who would I rather have, Brock Purdy or Josh Allen? I'm still gonna stick with Brock Purdy. Maybe you think I'm politicking, but I'm gonna stick with Brock Purdy down, because. Well, the thing about the thing about Josh Allen that I don't particularly like is he has a lot of oh fuck place like and i know that brock had <laughs> brock had a couple interceptions or should be interceptions this weekend where the has ball literally had. went right he's had a couple it has had yes he has had um some of those plays um but like josh allen like we joked about it last week josh allen is so consistent at throwing an interception every single game that vegas said we're not even gonna put this out there anymore no, not uh, over one, not over one and a half. They just said Josh Allen is a turnover machine. We're not even going to let you bet on it anymore. Brock Purdy, yeah, he's had a blip here and there. The Ravens game was fucking disgusting. The Monday Night Football game in Minnesota wasn't that great. But I'm still going to, I'm going to double down, stand on business. Give me Brock Purdy over Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a turnover machine. So, back to cap. Brock Purdy is better than Josh Allen, and this is cap. So I'm going to break it down to you so that everyone, when you think of this, you look at the passing categories. Brock Purdy is a better passer than Josh Allen per stat to say yes. But Josh That's Allen important. also does it on the run. So you can't say you can't mention one and not mention both. So Josh Brock Allen, hasn't had to. 4,306 yards, 29 touchdowns to 18 interceptions to Brock Purdy's 4,282 yards, 31 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. But like I mentioned, Josh Allen also is a dual threat. He ran for 524 yards per average, 35 yards per game with 15 rushing touchdowns. So 29 plus 15, quick math, a lot of touchdowns, a lot of touchdowns. He is the team. There, you, if you, you cannot say without Brock Purdy, you guys will be ass. We can say you take Josh Allen off this team, they're ass with them. Imagine what they would be without him. Well, Josh you were you remember though the 2022 or excuse me 2023 NFC Championship game when Brock Purdy goes out we saw what the 49ers looked like. Yeah, that's one game over 17 game sample size. I, you guys would be 
still a playoff team. Unless you guys think you would fall off a cliff without Brock Purdy, then I stand corrected. Uh, if we went from Brock Purdy back to Jimmy Garoppolo, I or, think okay. so. Sam or Donald, Brock, 17 Brock, games. Brock Purdy to Sam Darnold. Matt Barkley for 17 games. Who wins more games? Mm. Well, Matt Barkley's still the backup in Buffalo. But what I'm saying is, Josh, he has to be the better player because not only does he do it through the air, he does it through the air. Yes, he turns the ball over a lot. He's turnover heavy. But Josh Allen single-handedly carries his team. And we have yet to see Brock Purdy single-handedly put the team on his back and say, I'm going to go win us this game. So who Can would I happen? rather have moving forward? Thunder. Josh Allen, because Josh Allen does it without the, the other options. And, yes, you can say because Josh Allen was a top pick, he got his money. Brock Purdy was the last pick, so he doesn't have to get paid right now. But Josh Allen is doing it with arguably just Stephon Diggs. You know, Gabe Davis has his game every now and then. But Brock Purdy also has arguably two Pro Bowl receivers, a Pro Bowl tight end, and an all-pro running back. So he has he the weapons. So looking at it from both ways, if you were to switch them, like Toddy said, it would be the Chiefs on crap. But you put Brock Purdy in a Buffalo Bills jersey, I don't know. Because you well, call me what you want. I, I'm, you know, Mr. Irrelevant. I say the Disney movie all the time. Brock Purdy is ass. So I'm going to take Josh Allen any day. Uh, well, the you kind of just helped my point there, Kevin, because he I would put up 40 he's, on the Eagles. So I guess he's, he's, he's super ass. Oh, he didn't, he didn't just put up 40. He put up 42. Let's so 40, I'm happy you 40, said 42 that. To, 42 to 19. I said that because I have a stat in front of me. Mm, I don't know if you guys right. didn't know this stat. You guys had your most yak against us. You know what the yak yards were? Just take a guess. It was Brandon Ayuk. Triple it figures. Was... No, no, the number of yak yards. Oh, oh, uh, 178. Uh-uh. Too low. Ooh, okay. Let's go. 214. 212. Ooh, I was close. That was the highest in NFL the season all year. Um, I don't remember Brock Purdy running for us 212 yards. So um, I don't think Brock Purdy put it on his back. We all say, everyone sees the memes of when Brock Purdy can't throw a slant for 45 yards or a screen for 85 yards. He Josh just Allen debunked is this. throwing the he ball. He just debunked this theory on, on Saturday. So I don't know what. Yeah. 